At the age of just seven, Justin Cook knew he wanted to run his own business. He also knew he wanted to call it Fortune Cookie. What he couldn't have known was how successful that business was going to become. Today, Fortune Cookie is one of the most successful digital media agencies in the UK. Brand spanky new offices in central London, turnover that's more than doubled in the last two years, and up to 20 accounts on the go at any one time, among the major blue chip companies. Justin also knew from an early age it was the digital media world, particularly web design and e-marketing, he wanted to be involved in. Perhaps naively, it felt like a whole new world, basically. And I felt like a bit of a pioneer and wanted to get in, involved really early on to try and kind of realise the opportunity. And you know, I got some advice from my father and he said, you know, nothing in your lifetime is, is going to happen you know, um, that, will, that will have a bigger impact um, on human beings and, and, our, and our lives than the web, you know, and just, just get, get involved, basically. The foundation on which the company has been able to grow is in the building of strategic relationships with clients, relationships Fortune Cookie views more as partnerships. This allows Fortune Cookie to see itself as part of a client's organisation, and it means they can all work together for the long term, not simply for the duration of one web build. The great benefit of working with a client over a longer time period is that we can challenge them. You can challenge them and push them into areas where they didn't necessarily see themselves, but you can prove to them through great experience architecture development, through good user testing processes, um, potentially through A-B testing on, on a live environment, that this is a, a new cutting-edge solution, but that one that will also work. But to make these partnerships work, Fortune Cookie has to understand clients' requirements. Every day of the week you'll find clients, like National Rail Inquirers, visiting Fortune Cookie's offices or vice versa. They want to get under the skin of their clients, understand what makes them tick, literally spend time on the shop floor. We go to the clients' offices themselves and we talk to all of the different kind of stakeholders that are involved in, in the organisation, finance, marketing, PR, HR, you know, and we basically kind of ask them all individually kind of what they want. We'll do competitive benchmarking and analysis. You know, we'll look at what their competitors are doing. We'll go outside of their own traditional competitive set and look at kind of, you know, um, other organisations, that, that uh, people that we can learn from, basically. Because you know, everyone's doing things well, but not everyone's doing everything well. But at the end of the day, it's not the clients that use the sites. Fortune Cookie realises the importance of road testing sites with end users. So it builds representations of the client's target audiences. Then it hires agencies to recruit those people and invites them into its offices. Here, a potential end user of a site has been invited into the office to use Fortune Cookie's eye tracking system. It allows the client sitting in the next room, in this case Diabetes UK, to see exactly where on their site the end user's eyes are drawn. If you don't talk to end users, then you can design a site very well based on your own opinions or the opinions of your client. But we're not the end users always, and, and the customers, our customers aren't the end users. By talking to a range of, of the end users, the end site users and customers, we can make sure that we've got the process that's right for them as opposed to right for us. It makes it scientific. It means we're not designing on whim. To reach this level of success, Fortune Cookie has had to survive difficult times, not least the dot-com crash of the late 90s. Many digital agencies went to the wall, but for Fortune Cookie, the crash turned out to be a blessing in disguise. It battened down the hatches and made cutbacks. Decisively, it stopped being a jack-of-all-trades and instead specialised in just a few sectors. Travel, tourism and leisure, financial services and the media. The advantages of sticking with you know, those three or four key areas are that we know them really, really well. There's a real depth of knowledge around the studio here. Um, we're being fed all the time from our clients, but we're also feeding back to our clients where they can't go to the sorts of you know, um, conferences and, and read the sorts of white papers we do. It's a constant knowledge exchange with those clients. And I don't think we could do that to the right depth if we had clients in all different sectors. The digital media business is evolving faster than most. The manner in which people access information on the web is evolving and websites themselves are becoming ever more sophisticated. Fortune Cookie has had to adapt to keep pace with these changes. 
We write accessibility into yeah. everything that we do. And when I say accessibility, I don't just mean uh, making websites that can be used by people with disabilities. I mean a web that can be accessed by anyone on anything. So a web without boundaries, a web without borders, a web that can be accessed on mobile phones by my granny, by someone in Brazil on a 5.6K modem. Two or three years ago, we were delivering websites to our clients. We were designing web pages and web page templates for people to make sites from. Now we're delivering experiences. And, and a web page might be a tool in that, but then so might a piece of video. So might a rich interactive interface. Um, so might an email. We're, we're less focused on the page now and much more focused on getting the overall experience, which means that everybody's expertise has to come into play a lot more. What strikes you about Fortune Cookie is here is a business that survived the dot-com crash of the late 90s and emerged a stronger agency. It forsakes quantity for quality, looking not to short-term profit but long-term gain. And that's the reason why Fortune Cookie appears to be one of the digital media agencies of the future.